Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a serous cyst adenoma, a benign tumor of the ovary. This section shows two pieces and let's focus on this piece. So to orientate ourselves, this is the capsule of the ovary or the serosal surface. This is part of the cyst wall and this is one of the septa within the cyst. So the cyst has several locules which are the rounded spaces within a cyst and these locules are separated from each other by septa. Let's have a look at the lining. You can see here that in some places the lining is quite flat and in other places there are these quite broad papillary projections with fibrous cores. This is quite classical for serous cyst adenoma. Let's take a closer look at the lining epithelium. And we can see that these are columnar cells. The nuclei are relatively basally located at the surface of these cells, we can see cilia. These look like little hairs arising on the surface, and they are similar to the cilia that we see in the respiratory tract. This epithelium closely resembles epithelium of the fallopian tube. So let's look at another area. And again, you can see these columnar cells with cilia on the surface. So the epithelium is known as ciliated columnar epithelium or tubal type epithelium. And below this, we have quite a dense collagenous stroma. You can see these pink strands of collagen. And again, this is classical for a serous cyst adenoma. Usually in serous cyst adenomas, we do not see very complex branching papillary structures. And we also do not see multi-layering of the epithelium. Usually it is unilayered or monolayered and the epithelial cells are very blend. Let's have a very quick look at the gross appearance. Here is an example of a gross pathology specimen of a serous cyst adenoma of the ovary. We can see the capsule of the ovary or the serosal surface and here is the cyst itself. We can see that there are a few of these little papillary excrescences or projections, which is exactly what we saw microscopically. And this web page also contains more information, a little bit of annotations for microscopy, and also a short video clip showing the gross features and comparing this with cyst adenocarcinoma. If you would like to have a look at our virtual pathology museum, you can simply register for PathWeb and the registration link is in the video description. Registration is free. In summary, this is a serous cyst adenoma of the ovary where we can see cyst locules that are lined by a single layer of ciliated columnar cells which resemble tubal epithelium. And underlying the epithelium, we can see dense collagenous stroma. This tumor can also sometimes have more proliferative or atypical features in which it is called a serous borderline tumor and there can be a malignant counterpart which is serous carcinoma or serous cyst adenocarcinoma. There will be a separate video showing the microscopic features of serous carcinoma of the ovary. Thank you.